The John Howard Lecture Series honors liberal principles and the leadership legacy of Robert Menzies and its namesake. I'm really delighted to be here tonight uh, in association with and in friendship with my former deputy and close colleague John Anderson. Former Deputy PM John Anderson was centre stage, taking aim at identity politics. I think we all share a deep concern that those elites who hold the bulk of the microphones and it seems the cultural heft in the West today seem determined to divide us, not unite us, at every possible turn. And we have lost faith in ourselves at the very time in which those who wish us ill are full of all conviction. Mr Anderson led the National Party from 1999 to 2005. But I'm really impressed by some of the, uh, uh, the people in our team in Canberra, particularly some of the, the Liberals, uh, who, who really are beginning to speak out, mm. show real courage and to defend the things that we ought to defend. He says tolerance is eradicating traditional views. Love is punishing dissenters. Equality is one group dominating over the rest. Colour blindness is racist. And anti-racism turns out to be utterly and totally obsessed with race. The list goes on. According to Mr Anderson, that list includes gender identity and identity politics is a threat to Australia's institutions. I think it's massively distorting our politics uh, and I think that is really worrying. The same issue in the United States was a prominent topic. There's something to be said for the proposition that, uh, uh, and, and this is an optimistic thing in a way, just that uh, the, the side of politics in America that embraced identity politics far more, namely the Democratic Party side. If you take out, I mean, sure Biden won, but given how appallingly Trump handled the pandemic, how else could he not win? Uh, I mean, it was just, uh, he, 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 every time he had a news conference, he was, he was uh, penning a suicide, political suicide note. I think he's handling it. The, mm. And it was terrible. You have to admire the Americans for engaging in the debate. You can't stand back anymore. Certainly not one to shy away from a discussion himself. Anna Rawlings, Sky News.